so welcome back to my eye ornament drawing tutorials you see today i will move around things uh, because there is a nice feature in eye ornament that lets you move your last stroke that you have drawn and by that uh, get more precise and i would also say more experimental uh, drawings so let me switch to a rather simple symmetry group first so you can observe a little bit better what's going on so let's take one that has just a threefold rotation and assume that you have drawn any stroke so i just didn't think about what stroke i've been drawing i just drew anything so uh, there is the options of post editing this stroke and you can activate the post editing in two different ways either you can press this little icon here or you can simply double tap your pen. Both of that will bring you the same menu here, which is a small but very powerful thing. So what you can do here, it gives you two handles uh, at the end of your stroke. And with these two handles, you can move your stroke wherever you want. And by that, see what kind of potential lies in this, uh, one stroke you've just drawn with respect to all the other drawings you already did. So let's take it to this position, draw a second stroke. You can activate and deactivate this menu always by double tapping or as I said, by pressing this button here. So let's just draw another stroke and uh, again, move this one to get something interesting out of it so actually for my taste this stroke is a little bit too wiggly and this brings me uh, to uh, another feature of this menu you see this slider here and this slider here uh, can gradually smoothen your stroke so if i move it to the very far end i got a smooth version of my stroke which now fits much better into my drawing uh, so let's draw one more stroke uh, and actually i intended to draw a straight line now uh, you can by double tapping also activate an automatic recognition uh, of shapes that you did so you see it jumped immediately to the line you can get back your original stroke by tapping uh, these two buttons here, you get your stroke without dynamic control. And here you get your stroke with dynamic control. And here you really get a straight line that you now can move in your drawing. So let's do a few straight lines here and add some kind of abstract feeling. And you see having straight lines and being able to position them exactly is a very powerful thing but this tool is even more powerful so let me switch to a different symmetry type and just draw one more stroke let me again smoothen the stroke and move it to a position where i do want to have it but you can do even much more you can control many parameters of your stroke uh, when you are in this editing mode. So for instance, you can change its color with the full range of color parameters that you have. Uh, and you can even change its widths and you already saw it. You can change uh, essentially everything that you get here from these sliders. And uh, so one stroke can be changed essentially in all its parameters afterwards uh, let me since i see this here let me just show you a little trick uh, if you did not decide to use the gold effect here uh, you can activate a kind of global gold effect uh, to your drawing and uh, by that, uh, create uh, this embossing even after you've drawn this stroke. And uh, well, I think that's enough for today. Keep on doodling and I just continue drawing a little bit here. See you in the next tutorial.